Hi, my name is Dr. Daisy Sentry from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I do these characters because they are strong women, first of all. They are intelligent, they're brave, um, they have compassion for their fellow man. Um, they believed in a cause, either for freedom, equality, women equality, um, freedom for um, their family, brothers and sisters, especially like Harriet Tubman. Um, they were trailblazers. Phyllis Sweetly, because she, her story was, um, first of all, because she was a child, I, I felt like pity for the child. And then as I read her story, I found out that she was <clears throat> a literary genius, a genius in bondage. Um, she was just so powerful with her words. Um, a lot of people think that Phyllis Sweetley, of course, um, didn't write about freedom or didn't appreciate her, um, her color, but because she wrote about them in her poetry, but because her poetry is so, um, so very um, prolific, you have to read it to find it in there, but she did write about freedom. She wrote about independence. She wrote about Africa. She wrote about how she felt, but it's interwoven in her poetry. So she couldn't go out and fight like the men in the war, so she fought with her pen. That's how she fought. She I always felt suspended between two worlds. I'll write a poem entitled on, on being brought from Africa to America. Twas mercy brought me from my pagan land, taught my benighted soul to understand that there's a God, that there's a savior too. Once redemption neither sought nor knew. The view our sable sold, our sable race with scornful eye. Their color is a diabolical dye. Remember, Kristen, Negroes black as cane may be refined and joined the angelic train. I like that one. I'll write that one.